we have around a teaspoon worth of plastic in our brain. This is the most recent study that found that we have around a teaspoon worth of plastic in our brain. They looked at 45 post-mortem samples of brain tissue. And what they found was that every single sample contained microplastic and the amount increased by 50% between 2016 and 2024. So we're exposed to exponentially more in the environment. We are absorbing it and it's getting into our bodies and it's depositing in our major organs. Now, a lot of scientists will argue we don't know what that means. When I first started talking about this eight, nine years ago, this is what uh, doctors and scientists will say. We don't know what it means. It might be benign. Well, it's not benign, right? Because what they found was, now this is, is an association, but people with dementia had more microplastic in their brain. So it's a correlation. We don't know if it's causative, but we have other studies showing the presence of microplastic or nanoplastic causes infl inflammatory markers to go up. It damages our mitochondria. So that's one of the mechanisms. Inflammation causes weight gain. Inflammation's been linked to increased heart disease risk, increased risk of diabetes, Alzheimer's, you name it. Inflammation is bad news and we don't want that. 